Again, this is a this is a very controversial topic um, because, especially with the epidemic of obesity in America, um, and there's a couple things we know. What we know is that people whose BMI is above 40, and particularly above 45, um, actually do quite well after their surgeries. The um, obese people's uh, return to function, um, or return to their lifestyle is just as good in, in someone who's obese as it is as it not. The problem relates to complications. Um, we know that the complication risk of obesity goes up dramatically. And so somewhere in the range, risk of complications for, or again, depends on how you define complications, but the risk of major complications related to the surgery for people who, are, who have a BMI of under 40 is in the couple percent range. That risk jumps to almost 10% in people whose BMI is above 45. So the, there's no real weight that you can't do surgery, but the complication rate goes up dramatically. There's another issue though that's super important. As we move to more outpatient surgeries, like my practice is 100% outpatient surgery, we have to limit our BMI restriction at the surgery centers to a BMI of under 40. And this has nothing to do with the knee replacement surgery per se. It has everything to do with uh, breathing and sleep apnea. What the most important complications after surgeries that are anesthetic related are respiratory and people whose BMI over 40, have a BMI of over 40, which is you know, what we would be considered would classify as, you know, obesity or morbid obesity, um, they almost uh, without exception have sleep apnea. And sleep apnea um, in the post-operative setting is super important to monitor because people, you know, be unable to breathe and so um, they become apneic. And so that needs monitoring. And in the outpatient setting, uh, most facilities aren't set up for that. So there is often a BMI restriction by certain surgeons based on the setting that they go to. Um, and some hospitals and some insurance companies are now actually limiting it, um, the BMI. And it's not got to do with the success of the person who has a successful surgery. It has to do with the risk of um, the overall risk of complications that are um, related both to the implant, but more importantly, sometimes to the overall health of the, of the patient. So, area of controversy, a discussion that needs to be had with your surgeon. Um, and uh, it's um, sometimes certain patients think it's got to do with the surgery itself or the difficulty of surgery. And that really just isn't the issue. The issue is not whether surgery is harder or easier, particularly knee surgery, which frankly doesn't make a lot of difference um, uh, for the BMI, but um, it's really got to do with the complications and complication risk.